Welcome to an introduction about SVG vector support with ImageList as part of the VCL UI pack. Building a desktop application no longer just poses the problem of the different screen resolutions, whereas we had the time where we were building applications for 480p, 720p, and then 4K, 8K, that our user interfaces looked tiny. No, we also have the problem of screen density now, meaning that one pixel on a high density display that you see here on the right can be many pixels from the normal display density. In Delphi, you always develop at 100%. It's designed for 96 dots per inch. If you run your desktop application on a high density display, for example, a 4K display, it might be set to a zoom factor in Windows of 400%, meaning your image is only displayed at a quarter of its size. One solution is you resize your images. A lot of images in Delphi VCL applications are provided as 16 times 16 or 32 times 32 pixels. So if you blow them up and resize them, that's what they look like. You can hardly recognize what the icon looked like in the first place. Embarcadero introduced the virtual image list with Delphi VO, which generates images for different sizes. However, this component has one downside. You have to pick one image size and you also have to define certain image sizes that you want to generate. For example, in this case, I only had the 32 times 32 image, so the 48 times 48 already looks pixelated. The solution is vectors, and TMS software has SVG vector image support included as part of their VCL UI package. Here you see how crisp and sharp your images will look if you use their SVG vector support. So without further ado, let's build a toolbar with vectors. I created a new VCL application in Delphi. I stored the whole application, named the main form, named the unit, and let's get started right away to build a toolbar. First of all, we need an advanced doc panel. We drop it on the form, right click it, and choose add toolbar from the context menu. Now we would be able to add buttons to our toolbar, right clicking it and selecting add button. However, before we do that, let's actually provide the images for the button. For that, we need a so-called virtual image list, which is the new component from Delphi Rio. And we need the SVG image collection. If you have the FNC package installed, be sure that you pick the advanced SFG image collection component. This component provides a list of images, vector images to be precise. So you click the ellipsis button and start adding your images into this field editor. So we added a T advanced SVG image collection item. We select data and clicking the ellipsis button, we get to the picture editor that allows us to load a file from disk. In this scenario, we're building a toolbar for a sports batting or a score lookup application for different kinds of sports. So I downloaded five vector images for different kinds of sports from the internet. I select the first one for baseball, click open, I have the vector image displayed in the preview window, click OK, and the image is imported. I'm going to repeat this process for all the other images. We now have five images in our image collection. We do not need to name them. You can name them using the name property if you want to. This is all we need to do with the image collection. We're going to name it enabled images because the images that we selected are supposed to be used as images when the toolbar shows the enabled state for the button. So we go to the virtual image list, we link it to the image collection to the enabled images, and we're going to name it enabled image list. Now we select the toolbar and connect it not with the disabled images, but with the images property to the enabled image list. When we now start creating the buttons, the images are assigned automatically. But before we do that, we also have to import the images from the image collection into our image list. So we double click the virtual image list. We see that it's empty right now, but if we click add, we see that all the images are crystal sharp and have been imported. We select all, click okay. And now we have certain sizes for all the images. 
The advantage of using vector images is that you not only have these sizes that are specified here, you have any size in between or any size that is bigger than those. So you just click OK. Before we can add the buttons to the toolbar, we have to set the size of the images. We decide here to set height and width. Here we set height and width to 32. We select the toolbar, click add button, and there we go. All the images appear without us doing anything. One, two, three, four, five. If we were to add a sixth one, nothing is going to happen. It's just going to stay empty. So we have our five images. And if we run the application, we have a working toolbar with transparency and everything. And you can be certain I can show this to you in the video. If you were to run this application on a high DPI scaled display, it would look just as sharp. And of course, you can also change the sizes of the images. If you decide at a later time you need bigger images, you simply go to your image list and say, OK, I want it 64, 64. You select all the buttons and select with 64, hide 64, and there you go. So this is how easy it is to use vector images on toolbars with the VCR UI pack. We didn't have to assign the images to the buttons because we created the buttons when the images already existed in the image list. If that is not the case, of course, you can change the image using the image index property of the button. So you click the button and look for the image index property. And then you even get a drop down list where you can see all the images. That's why it's not necessary to assign names to the images. You can select them very easily out of this list.